Well, hello. Today I'd like to talk about my first impressions of a Rotax Silver and... Oh, what the hell did I call it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my <laughs> first impressions of a Rotax Silver and Black. I did not mean to say that. All right, so this is my Rotax modeled gray and black and silver and stuff. So first thing that jumped out to me about this pen is it does say Rotax. Made in Germany, although that's not showing up well on the camera. I've got Rotax on the clip band or cap band, made in Germany. And then on the clip itself, Rotax and what looks like a, a logo or emblem of some kind. Other than that, we can see it's a piston filler. And the finish, I'm trying to decide if it's celluloid or if it's just like a plastic film that's overlaid on the pen and I'm not 100% sure. So the nib itself, it's a steel Rotax nib. Let's see if I can read that. Oh, Iridium Rotax Point, made in Germany. Hmm. And then the feed is like that. Piston filler, as I said. Interestingly, when I turn the piston knob, it doesn't come out like other pens do. So that suggests a little more interesting mechanism than perhaps you might expect from a pen like this. What do you mean, George? Well, here's a... forget what it is. But anyway, you can see that as I advance the piston, the piston turning knob comes out. So it doesn't do that, is what I'm trying to say. All right, so we'll fill it, we'll push down, and pull in. Got a, eh. <laughs> so we'll try that again. More bubbles that, oh, wow, we got almost a full fill that time. We're gonna call it good. So we'll drip out a squirt or two of ink. And let's see how this Rotax writes. Not knowing a model, I'm just going to call it Rotax Silver and Black. But I do want to point out that it took me a minute or two to get it writing. I don't know what that means, but some these pens are like that. So the ink in it is Parker Quink Washable Blue. Uh, more feedback than some of the pens I've reviewed today. Uh, flex, I'm not expecting a lot. I'd say there's a little line variation, but not a lot of flex. Wetness and flow. I think it'll be okay. Eh, nothing to write home about. Ha 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 with a pen. <laughs> Smear test. I'm not going to expect a whole lot of smearing. Okay, I got more than I expected, but not a lot. And reverse writing, if you're into that kind of thing. Some people are, don't judge. That feels a little smoother than the other direction, but the writing is almost useless. <laughs> and finally, the world-famous Pierre Gustafson test. Okay, the pen is a little stingy with the ink, but it, it did it. So this is a pen I, I think I'm going to have to wait and see. Because I don't know right now. So anyway, that's the Rotex Silver and Black. Now, I had a little experience with that pen since then, of course. Because it, it's a, well, it's a first impression. And I actually filmed that video like two months ago. So, I'm in school one day. And, because uh, school is still going on. <laughs> school, <laughs> yeah, you saw me dust that. 
Uh, school was still going on then and everything. And, you know, I, I wear a tie and a, a dress shirt to work every day. My, my dress shirts are a little worn out, as you can probably tell here, but I'm going to replace them all this summer if, if finances go the way I'm planning on them to go. But anyway, this shirt... Oh, where is it now? Doggone. I had it ready, and then I set the shirt on the floor. Oh, okay, here we go. Whoop! <laughs> What's that? What's that? And there's, oh, some more on the sleeve. And, let's see, I got some on the front too. Is there, yeah, I did. On the pocket. Down the front. And my parents have recently discovered that I have a YouTube channel. So, uh, Mom, if you're seeing this, you no longer pay for my clothes and uh, you no longer have to wash them. So this is not your problem. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> this pen got almost empty and it started to leak like a leaker thing. It, it just... <laughs> I had ink all over the computer. I had ink everywhere. Ink in the cap. Ink. It just blurp on that morning. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, don't let this pen get empty, I think, is the big lesson there. Because until then, it was just, you know, kind of a nice daily writer type of pen. I was, I was happy with it. I, I wasn't excited, but I was happy. And, uh, yeah, then that morning it happened. <laughs> and, you know, it was basically empty by then and uh, I figured oh I'm gonna empty this out in the next day or two and yeah I did <laughs> all over my shirt all over my computer all over my desk all over the floor around my desk and you know for an empty pen it had a lot of ink in it left so uh that was fun so I'm gonna save that shirt I'm doing a video soon on Parker Quink washable blue and other types of washable inks and I think <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing now. Um, laugh so I don't cry, I guess. But uh, I um, I need to refill this pen and find out if that's real. But maybe I'll be careful and use a fairly washable ink. Because I'd rather destroy school than home, you know. Because I live here and school just pays for this, you know. But anyway, um, uh, uh, as for the other things, I don't have a pocket on this shirt. So we'll slip it over the collar. So it's it's actually uh, kind of rough going on because it, it's not smoothed off, so it like catches on your shirt and stuff. So I, I you know I think using this would wear out my shirt pocket. And oh, have I worn out my shirt pocket? Because that's how I carry my pens. This is why I'm doing this on cell phone, by the way, because the autofocus would go nuts on the regular camera. You know, actually, I think the shirt pocket has done very well over the years. Collar, eh, not so much. I've actually got one collar that's got like a second pocket in it because it's so worn through. So, yeah, it's, it's time for new dress clothes. I... Uh, was actually going to buy new dress clothes last year and then the pandemic happened. I'm like, well, sitting at home, I don't have to dress up for school because I'm teaching online. And uh, then I never thought about it all summer because I wasn't, wasn't like I was going to go somewhere to shop anyway last summer. And uh, yeah, so the shirt's got an extra year of life thanks to the pandemic. But uh, they are all going to be replaced because I bought them all at the same time and they are all just like almost see-through like the days when oh wait i didn't wash my t-shirts um you can see this through them and uh it's a good thing i wear a t-shirt under my dress shirts because uh yeah the kids would be getting a show that they don't want <laughs> but anyway so yeah I, i'm kind of happy with this rotax you know looking at it i have not decided if it is just a thin plastic wrap over the body of the pen or if it's something else you know it wasn't a very expensive pen but then again rotax isn't exactly something people are collecting either so uh i just don't know but you know the main point is this nib and it's it was a good nib for just daily writing up until that whole leakage incident <laughs> so anyway uh, hope that was useful in some faint way. Hope that was interesting, and I want to thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.